Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my review of the Ducky Shine Zero keyboard. Now, this is a very nice keyboard, especially for the price. Without taxes or uh, shipping or warranty, you can get it for about 105 bucks. It is a very nice keyboard, especially for the price. There are all sorts of different models that you can choose from, and this one actually has blue cherry switches, blue cherry MX switches, and when you press down the buttons, you can hear the click. And this is what a Cherry MX Blue Switch looks like. It literally looks exactly like every other switch on the market, but, well, it's blue. But this is a nice model. It's the Shine version, which has an LED for each button. And you can see I just took that off. But underneath, right, right above the switch is the LED, and on this model it's actually a blue LED and you can change it to all sorts of different things you could change it so there's waves of lights going across when you press a button it will light up for a second you can have it like pulse you can have it just all lit up all the time it's really cool and really functional I guess you could say even though it's more of an aesthetic please than functionality but it's very simple to take the switch on and off to put on you just push it in and to take it off, you have this piece. They cleverly designed it, so it's actually the shape of the Ducky logo. And it has these prongs. So what you literally do is you push it down, it will click, and you can pull it straight off. It's super simple, really easy. And since these um, caps don't stick too much, it's actually really easy to just pull them off without having to you know, pin down your keyboard and go through all the trouble. Another nice little feature that it has are these. They are uh, different colored for the WS WASD switches. So if you're a hardcore gamer who constantly uses those buttons and stuff like your arrow keys or a controller like me, you can literally just do this, click it on, pull it off, take this one, and push it right on, like so. And then there you go. It's so you can actually find it easier while you're gaming in the dark. Or if you're not gaming in the dark and you're not using your LEDs for some reason or your backlighting, you can actually find it very efficiently and easily. Next up is the media keys. Now this keyboard it isn't designed with all the macros and all the fancy stuff, but over here it has a volume mute, down, up, and it looks like a calculator button. So you hit this, the calculator comes up. Simple enough. So those are all the real secondary keys because it doesn't have macros that go along the side or whatever. This is a full-size keyboard, obviously, because it does have this numpad. Because if you have a 10 keyless, you just would imagine all this gone. And I have seen, I believe, the Quick Fire Pro by some company that's uh, US based because this is Japanese it actually has the numpad integrated with the arrow keys which is interesting but I really don't like it so I decided to offer something that's a bit more and get one that's actually the full 10 key separate keyboard next up is a cable it's a decent sized cable I believe it's probably like 6 meters or so it doesn't have any like gold plating or anything, but it does feel quite durable. It's actually very thick with this, what looks like a transistor or something. I have no idea what that's actually for. But it's no cheapo uh, cable that will just rip easily. Now, how about I put this back on and go to the back. Flip this over. And that, just, that piece just went flying. You can see it has rubberized feet on all the corners the ducky information, the model number, and then it has these uh, tilts. It's very pretty standard on keyboards. But one thing I would have really liked to have seen on this model, because it is expensive mechanical keyboard, are rubberized tips on these uh, extensions or razors. I guess I'm going to call them razors because they're just smooth plastic. They aren't rubberized, so they'll stick. As long as these are flat, you're fine, but I would have really liked to see those. It does click with a nice, satisfying sound. 
let's see, that's all that really comes with the physical attributes of this keyboard. It is quite durable, but it still doesn't feel like, quite like a rock, like a Philco keyboard. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably heard of those. Those things are literally rocks. They don't come with as many features like backlighting, at least the model that I purchased, but it is. You could literally kill a man with it. This you'll probably see a couple of things break on it, but if you want a super durable, super durable keyboard, get the Philco. If you want one with more features, I would probably go with a Ducky keyboard. And it does feel, I'm not sure if it's just from usage, but this one does feel a bit more sensitive and responsive. It's just me probably. But next up, I'm not going to go through all the settings because I haven't learned really how to use them. But I'm going to show you what the keyboard looks like with the backlights on it. It looks really cool. So this is what the keyboard looks like while it's in the dark set at max color or brightness. Now it probably looks, it seems like at least from my point of view, it looks pretty bad on camera. But this looks magnificent in real life. It's kind of like a tealish aqua blue. It is beautiful. And there, are, what I really like is that there's a few different settings you can change between... Uh, how the uh, LEDs actually act in the background. So to change everything, or to change all the LED stuff, you press and hold the function button, which is down here, and then you would press either one through seven to change the brightness. Let's see if I could do this while so hugging the tripod. So here's one, and when I go down, you notice that there's still five buttons that are lit up. It's the caps lock, the uh, Windows lock button, the num or the N key rollover, the scroll lock, and the num lock. Now those are only on when they're activated. So if I turn caps lock off, notice how it just shuts off completely. Those you don't really have a choice if you have them lit, or not, lit up or not. But it's just so that way you know that those are keys that you could activate or turn off just depending on how you feel. And if you didn't notice, right above it is my Philco and you could see it's not lit up so that's just a little reminder that this is amazing at least in my opinion i wish this with my keyboard i may have to trade it but you can change the uh, colors or the color of brightness so one two three four five six seven it lights both the letters and the spaces around them so it has a nice backlight effect. It'd be even nicer if it had like under keyboard out around the edge effect, but that 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 would just be a little bit too awesome though. Tip ducky. Okay, you can also hit eight for pulsing, which is really cool. So other than the five buttons I was talking about, the whole keyboard pulses in and out. It's really cool. And then finally, you could hit, just hit zero. And it will shut all the LEDs off except for the five main ones. Unless we turn them off, then they go away. And let's see if I can... Ah, yes. I can't see anything. But I still got right. So, I would highly recommend this keyboard. It feels really nice. And it looks extravagant. Like, it, unbelievably amazing. The only problems with the LEDs that I've seen are on some of the big buttons like the backspace button there's only one LED in it right here so it lights up the middle but along the edges like where the arrow and it says ace or pace it's not Brit um lit up very well and then on the front the logo it's that that could have been fixed with either another LED or just like a better placement like sideways where it'd be wider or something just a few things that I would tweak I hope you enjoyed my review of the Ducky Shine Zero keyboard with blue LEDs and Cherry MX Blue switches. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you later.